Hello and welcome to the Sherlock Show. I'm Georgie Corridge Cole and joining me on the sofa today are Lou Huff and beauty guru and friend of the show, Ruby Hammer. A very warm welcome. Ladies, today we're going to be chatting all things beauty from the new skills we've had to learn in lockdown to the products we can't live without, plus the treatments we're itching to see the pros for. Plus, Chrissy Reeves, entertainment director from OK Magazine, is here to give us the lowdown on the latest showbiz and celebrity gossip. I, for one, I'm looking forward to that. Plus, we're back with our first Star Watch in what seems like forever. And finally, SL Wellness editor Tor Cardona will be sharing her must-haves when it comes to achieving beautiful skin. But first, welcome. Hi, Ruby. Hello. It's so nice to be back. It's so nice to see you. <laughs> and we were just saying, weren't we, before we went on, that you were on our penultimate show this was my last time and this is the first one back. <laughs> I know, How like, I've done nothing that? in between. <laughs> um, I literally have done nothing in between. So thank you wow. for having me back. It's lovely to see you have brought a ray of sunshine. Yeah. Into, I literally walked in I thought in I'd today. try. I thought I'd try. We well, always just... we are in June, so <laughs> anyway, must make gorgeous, the effort. Gorgeous. Thank you. On sale now, you said. I, I looked at it before when it wasn't on sale and then, you know, I forgot about it. And then I suddenly started looking again and it was on sale and I, and I didn't even hesitate. I thought, ring, Win. that was it. It's anyway. lovely. Lots of other colours for everyone. Coach. Gorgeous. I know we're going to get lots of questions saying where is Ruby's amazing coach, dress from. Coach. coach. And lots of lovely colours. Blue, green, a navy. And uh, this was a print, so I, I went for the print. You always, you always, she always nails prints. <laughs> um, right, well, you, as you're on the show, we had to talk about beauty. Gosh. Go on um, then. <laughs> what, what is the skill? I mean, you've got all the skills, but what is the skill that you... Is it, are there any new skills you've had to learn? No, I think the most important thing was when we were doing Zooms or Lives, as everyone was asking, what skills, what skills? And I was thinking, well, look, I've got quite a lot of skills in my hand to do it on somebody else. Mm. But it's not the same skill when you have to do it to yourself. So true, yeah. So I thought, if I'm telling everybody, you need to experiment, this is a good time where you're not in a rush do that yeah. so I've had to sort of use that for myself but I didn't really if I'm dead honest my skincare was good the makeup was there you know whether it's appropriate or not so the thing I really did was I had to sort out my hair because you know <laughs> I've, I'm only getting used to it being grey and then I, I'm losing it. Do you colour your hair? It's not grey from where I'm sitting. No, no, it's yeah. coloured uh, the last two years. So there was all of that. It's, it was just coming to terms with even sectioning, you know, parting yeah, I mean, hair. hair like, is not bloody useless. So you dyed it yourself? No, I didn't do any dyeing okay. or anything like that. But I was, that's the first thing I'm going to do when I can get out there. Okay. But it was just knowing how to section, condition it properly. I had to do this regime from Philip Kingsley okay. where I did a sort of a, a virtual consultation and then there's a lot of steps. You have to wash your hair every day. You have to put the drops in. You have to change different drops at night. There's masks. To and sorry, what are the drops for? To stop the losing. Oh, you know, so okay, I've right, had to right. change parting. I've had to do this. And she says, you know, section nicely put the thing so you know normally you just go wash the dry and I'm out that door I've had to just sit mm -hmm. there nearly because it's a proper regime process, like I do yeah. for my skincare I don't even back line you just, it you yeah, just yeah. do it so when she said that to me she said well I bet you don't question it when it's your skin routine or what you're doing your makeup routine yeah. please do the same for your hair and I thought okay so I had to master that just calmly and patiently and watch Quite what terrible. you eat and the supplements, you know. For your I, hair. Well, it's everything. It's looking very shiny from where I'm well, sitting. Well, thank you. I'm so, doing Philip my Kingsley, there you go. Was that Annabelle that you were yes. dealing with? She's amazing. She's, she's fabulous. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely what well, are you a trichologist? Yes. You're a trichologist? Yes. I mean, she's been on the show before. She's brilliant. She's their, their she's products amazing. are she's amazing. Really amazing. Okay, so for you, it's dealing it with It was dealing, dealing with, with my hair because that's my hair. weak point. The others okay. I'm all right. Not I'm not bragging, but I'm okay. But that was my ugh. Well, I'm going to jump in before you only because mine is hair too, but mine is um cutting my husband's hair. Um that wow. is a skill that I'm sure <laughs> lots of women can <laughs> agree. Have you had to do that? Have you had to do that? No. No, no he wouldn't trust me either. <laughs> my god, I got so cross by the back chat that I slammed the scissors down halfway through and I was <laughs> like, well, you? that's it, you're on your own. If you're gonna be such a tricky customer. Anyway, and now ironically he wants another cut. And you did scissors, not trim it. Well I did scissors. And I was sort of he so like, ow, it hurts, it hurts. He was just so wet. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm trying to feather it. So I was trying to sort of pull gently down. Yeah. 
and he was whinging about the pain. Did you find you just copy the techniques that you see the hairdressers do? Yeah, You're like, I'm not really sure they don't. Yeah, you know, it's um, the noise, anyway, it's the sound. A bloody good job, I have to say. It and he good. was so ungrateful. Um, he now wants another. He now wants another go. Someone's offered to lend me some clippers. I'm not sure I trust myself okay. with those. Now he. My husband clips them all the way. It's easy. He hasn't got much hair, so he maintains it. It's, oh, yeah. it's, no, it's around the ears, just yeah. with the clippers. That's you right. Yeah. Okay. Which is fine. It's fine. I know. It's just gone. Who would have thought we would be doing I that? Know. I mean, it's nuts, isn't it? So that's mine. Um, I, I actually do quite a lot myself. Believe it or not, I'm actually quite low maintenance. Um, and these are my natural roots. I'm finally... Brilliant. Like, <gasps> people keep thinking, how have you had your roots done? I'm like, this, this is actually... They look good, you need any colour. Very uh, good. I'm getting a wave. My skirt. I'm showing too much. I'm showing my <laughs> pants. Everyone's looking at me going, pull your dress down. Um, <laughs> Lou, what have you mastered at home? I wouldn't say mastered, but I've been trying to do facial massage and reflexology. So um, I spoke about this in my vlog, but Fran Phillips did a little 10-minute IGTV facial video, which you do with like an oil or a serum. Um, and I love getting facials, like going to Sarah Chapman when they do that. It's like this, it's like, a, it's like a car wash on your face. Um, so I've learned the different techniques of doing that and really, really like it. You've been doing it with one of those jade stones? I don't do it with a roller, no, I just do it with my hand, oh. actually. Um, love her, I love Fran. She's yeah, she's really good. Good. It's yeah. incredible how firm or soft or yeah. gentle, upward, downward, drainage, all those things. Exactly, so. yeah, and it's like the lymphatic drainage, put it to the side, anyway, I loved it. To be honest, you can't go wrong, you just need your clean hands yeah. and you need a bit of oil, and yeah. then when they show you and somebody shows you, because yeah. I haven't Do been... you really believe, Ruby, that that is good, that's a good I thing I just think do. anything that gets that blood, blood and yeah. circulation going, so mm -hmm. yes, it's easier with a gadget, but you're... Since we're having to wash these yeah. hands 50 times a day now, we might as well, they're clean, and it will put the moisture back yeah. in there. And just, you probably never spend that much time feeling your face. Yeah. I bet you really learn your angles yeah. and things about your I face shape, because yeah. you just feel it, because we do it with, on, on an automatic, and I think this just makes you more aware. Yeah. Mm. And that's the biggest thing. And then whenever you are now, you can just do, you don't need a mirror, do you? You'll yeah. be able to feel and do her. I've thing. got to get on this bandwagon. Everyone's try it, on it. Try it. it. Yeah, I want one of those like heart shaped stones. Yeah, that's really good for here. Yeah, you know, for um, the jewelry. Right, yeah. this made me laugh. So um, our show manager asked everyone what the treatment was that we were looking forward to the most when salons opened. <laughs> <laughs> I had one. I saw you had mine already. I had one. Lou's had one. Ruby's written down. <laughs> hair colour, haircut, nails, facial, laser hair removal, <laughs> clean line, under <laughs> I mean... Because I... Can you do it all in one go? I'm going to try. I think that's what, what's going to be the best. They're going to, you know, if, they, if they're all in the same place. Because the thing is, I get my eyebrows thread. I can pluck them and tidy them. I can do all of that. Can't but the shaping or the tinting... Yeah. I've always believed the things you're not good at, I'm not going to butcher that's myself now, so that's that. Then there's all the things where we just started the laser um, you know, hair removal. So that's legs, bikini line, underarms. Um, you can't wax, you can't thread, you can't do anything. Yeah. So I'm going to have to go back so you can just shave. <laughs> the hair colour, I'm not good. Again, I know I'd got it. You so, know, I think fair enough. And that. a haircut, so that's one section. And then I now realise that I am so grateful that although I have a great skincare routine, I have lots of pigmentation and they're all coming out. And this, a facialist by massaging yeah. and doing all of that would get, I cannot wait for that. You're in. So you're in. that's why, be, although it sounds like high maintenance, <laughs> it just shows that I do it once I'm done, then I'll be yeah. able to well, maintain Ruby, it. Well, Ruby, you look so damn good. I'm not going to say your age, but <laughs> freaking out. Oh, you are a pin-up. Bless and, you. Bless you, Georgie. But I, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm like skin. gagging to get out there. Every time gagging. we see you, are always like, damn, she is <laughs> so babe. glowy. She is a babe. You're so going to make me blush. Make me blush, <laughs> lady. I need to know who you're seeing. Um, I'll give you a whole look. Lots, I, um, lots of them. I snuck in. I've been to mine already. I actually um, snuck off for a bit of Botox last week and oh, it felt so good. <laughs> <laughs> Call me shallow. I'm going to get a troll to that, I'm sure, but I'll take it because it's great. Feel better. Feel so much better. And anyway, I snuck in, temperature, mask, everything. And well, they have to, and they're You've got to do what you've got to do, haven't you? Totally. Totally. Oh, There's somebody I know that flew. 
out of the country. I don't know, the, the girl who I spoke to her, because I've booked it in for 4th of July when she's able to come to my house and do my nails. She said that this uh, client of hers had actually flown somewhere, had oh, her Botox it. done and flew back. Oh, I get she it. Only I trusts, get it. She only I mean, trusts that particular travel, doctor. I mean, I haven't quite got the budget for that, but, you know, <laughs> needs must. So, needs must. Lou? Mine's waxing. Yeah, I mean... You haven't tried it yourself? No, I mean, that is just a recipe for disaster, <laughs> isn't it? Um, no, I've like always waxed... I don't waxed. even say divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Since I was, like, 15, so I feel like I can't reach for the razor. Um, so, yeah, I'm just... No, you see, and when you've started the laser surgery, you can't wax, you can't do yeah. anything. Yeah, so absolutely. I've had to go to a razor, but I love the Embrace Venus razor, and I like something called... EOS, you know, they oh, do yes. the lip balm, oh, yeah. but yeah. they do the yeah, hair, balls. hair um, cream, and they cream. and those are amazing. You don't nick yourself, you don't. That's cut a yourself. better thing to do, isn't it? To use yeah, a cream. Yeah, I've been using Veet, but it's just not the same. Not I just same. can't stand the smell. Well, it comes of back no, exactly. to hair, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, before we finish, um, can you quickly? We're nearly out of time. Give me two new makeup finds that you've discovered, started using. I, I've just. Well, I love Huda Beauty and it's a mascara and it's actually got, it's double-ended, it's called Legit Lashes. So you've got one end that curls and lengthens love, and the other end gives you bucket loads of volume. So you Ooh. can, so the, I just think if you're on a hunt for a great mascara, I'm just testing it now. So, I love a so far, mascara. so good. Great. I who's, love it. Who's the brand? Huda Beauty. Oh, it's Huda, okay. And my other find is, I love Charlotte Tilbury's, um, all her eyeshadow palettes, but is this that her one. New palette? This is a new palette, and it's called Desert Haze, and I love it because it's super matte. Ooh, so yeah, the shades nice. are really, really nice, so nice, and I think they're just very summery and mm. easy, foolproof. And actually, if we're still doing zooms or any of those, it's it's going to be great. So wow. that's it. Can't go wrong with a Charlotte Tilbury, can you, <laughs> uh, Lou? Um, my first one is Glossier Future Dew. Um, We've talked about this loads, and everyone who's asked for it. Have we? A, I, I, what, really? Georgie, where have you been? Um, everyone's well, laughing. On, on the fashion desk, I've been we, locked down. we are all desperate for a glow, and we always ask Becky for oh, any yeah, glow Oh, yeah, Charlotte's on a mission, isn't she? Yeah, yeah. and um, Polly got this, and literally every morning we'd be like, Polly, your skin is absolutely I'm insane. Like, um, anyway, it gives the most gorgeous glow. It's kind of like a serum, so I put have it on. Have you got it on? Oh, it, yeah. this is Wonderful what Polly's been using. So yeah, I use it after my moisturiser before you make up and then just put a little bit here on, on my um, cheekbones at the very end and it just gives that gorgeous, right. healthy glow. Love that. Sticky, I so, must yeah. call it in or buy one. You must. Try it, try it. I just yes. love the packaging. It's so good. Love the packaging. And your other one was? My other one um, is just something I've always known. Everyone talks about SPF and wearing that as a base in itself rather than like, I've always had it like in my moisturiser, in my makeup. Um, and I had a skin consultation at the beginning of lockdown and she was like, you need to use a daily SPF. So I've been introducing that and um, I've just been using the quarterly SPF 50 um, and it's been great. Good for you. Good. Yeah. I know it's weird how when summer happens in April, you just forget about it. I know. Uh, mine, oh, annoyingly, I haven't got it with me, but the Emmeline, Emmeline, Emmeline? Emmeline, I think. Emmeline. It's a new... Oh, Emmeline. Um, it's a new makeup range and they do a lip pencil, they do a nail varnish... And they and do lipsticks. a lipstick, and there are shades for every skin colour of the perfect nude and the perfect red. And I have found the perfect nude lip, and the packaging is really cool. The lipstick pops out. Anyway, annoying. I put it on this morning, and then forgot to put it in my bag. But anyway, check out that brand. It's getting lots of great press. Well, it's fantastic because she's a she's a a black founder member so that's that's oh, really she? great and also you know when you have the perfect lipstick and you think god i wish i had the perfect matching lip pencil with it and yes, va toe yes so i'm not using van. exactly the, so the lip she's just taken it's the awesome. the guesswork out of it and it's very the names are incredible because they're they're sort of influenced from africa but the colors are for everybody so please Mine's don't think Luxor it's just for or one particular oh, yeah. shade I think my shade is Luxor, it's a nude, and it's a really pretty nude. And then my final one, and just to prove, um, I'd forgotten about Dr. Hauschka, so and then good. this ended up on my desk, it's the rose... Cream. It's the day cream, I've been using it at night. It says light, I wouldn't say it's like ridiculously light. Anyway, that's how good it is, it's pretty much... It's the smell that's divine. Well. Anything. 
that smells. I love the fresh rose mm. moisturiser as well. Anyway, anything that smells of rose just makes me sort of <laughs> happy. Anyway, it's very good. I like that brand. I'd forgotten about it. Do you remember when it launched? Yeah, yeah, and it yeah. was so huge. Um, thank you both. Thank now, you. In just a few minutes, I'm going to be chatting to OK's Chrissy Reeves. She's going to be giving us the latest gossip from the celebrities who have flourished in the last few months to that Tatler article about the Duchess of Cambridge. But first, we asked our wellness editor, Tor Cardona, to share some insider skin secrets. Hi, I'm Tor. I'm She Lux's wellness editor, and this is the first in my supplement series. So today I'm going to be talking about skin supplements. Now everyone knows that topical skincare is really essential, but actually taking an inside out approach is as important and taking a good supplement can really help you get that lip from within glow. I'm going to start by talking about omega-3s. Now, omega-3s are a potent anti-inflammatory and even if you eat oily fish a couple of times a week, it really pays to take one for your skin. Um, so as an anti-inflammatory, it can help with so many different skin conditions, whether it's acne, eczema, rosacea, psoriasis, anti-aging, so many things it can help with and actually studies have shown that omega-3 can actually reverse sun damage. So yeah, it's a real kind of skin all rounder and I love this brand Bare Biology they do a really nice um, Amiga and what I love about it is that the, the capsules themselves are so 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 small unlike loads of brands um, so they're really easy to swallow and actually just three capsules um, has the same Omega 3 as a whole tin of sardines so they are absolutely amazing and they're very well priced as well. So next up, I'm going to talk about collagen. Now, collagen is a bit of a buzzword when it comes to skincare, and people always say to me, Tor, you know, if there's one thing I should take, what would it be? As well as an Omega, I would say a collagen. And this one from Rejuvenated, their Collagen Shots, is a bit of a cult product. It's won so many beauty awards. So as you can see, it's a powder, which you add to water. It's got a very yummy berry flavor. Um, and you're best off taking it on an empty stomach um, for maximum absorption. So collagen is so important because from the age of about 25 to 30, you lose 1% of collagen every year, which is a bit terrifying. And actually, by the time you get to the age of 45, you've lost as much as 30% of your collagen, which is really, really scary. And that just means you're gonna be more prone to fine lines, wrinkles, dullness, sagginess. And this one has 10,000 milligrams of marine collagen per serving, which is the kind of optimum amount you should be taking, as well as antioxidants in the form of acai berry, as well as vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. So Collagen Shots is a brilliant supplement to take from, I'd say, from your 30s onwards if you are worried about the first signs of ageing. So now I'm going to talk about Equi's Beauty Formula, which is a really, really amazing powder supplement again. Um, and again, you can mix this with water or with your favourite kind of plant-based milk, if that's your thing. It's got a really yummy um, tropical flavour, which I love. So you can't see from the list here, but this has got so many amazing ingredients in it. As well as being an advanced multivitamin, it's got alkalizing super greens, turmeric, hyaluronic acid, probiotics, collagen. I mean, it's an all rounder in one. It will really help to balance those hormones and just keep everything really nice and settled. And if, like me, you take a ton of supplements, this kind of packs it all into one very helpful powder. So definitely one for the supplement junkie. I'm now going to talk about the Beauty Chef's Glow Powder, which is, again, another powder you can add to water. Um, and the Beauty Chef was one of the first brands to focus on gut health for skin health, so kind of that inside-out approach. So this contains 24 organic superfoods and probiotics, which will really help to kind of give your gut a bit of TLC and help nourish everything from the inside. So it will benefit your skin, but also your hair and nails. And there have been some really interesting studies carried out with this product. I mean, there's some amazing stats, but one of them um, that really stood out to me was that 95% of women who tried this for a month um, had better skin. So that was fewer breakouts, less redness, better tone, better clarity. So Glow is brilliant to take if you are concerned about your gut health and your skin health. It kind of deals with two problems in one. So I know this is another powder formula, but actually your body absorbs some of the ingredients better in a powder formula because it's going straight to the cells. So for me, that's my kind of preferred way, um, apart from the Amigas, because they are much, much easier to take in a capsule form. So that's it from me. I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon. Um, in this series, I'm going to be covering everything from supplements to sleep to protein powders. So I hope to see you all soon. Well, if Tall Skin is an advert for supplements, then I'm in. She is glowing. But now a very big welcome to Chrissy Rees, Entertainment and Role Director from OK Magazine. Hi, thanks well, for having me. Well, thank you for coming. This is a new segment for us. Um, 
God, we need a bit of a celebrity showbiz fix, don't we? I just think we've been starved, haven't we? Yes. I mean, the last big showbiz event was probably the Oscars in February, and uh, that was kind of, yeah, we, just, we need the fix, don't we? We need some glamour. They need to get out of their joggers, yeah. put their heels on, and Roll go out and do something carpets. crazy. Yes. Go and snog someone they shouldn't, or <laughs> something. I mean, you know, <laughs> we need something to live for. We just do. Um, so, we've got lots to chat about. We've managed to... You found some stuff. You've done some we digging We rounded around. up the troops. Yeah, we've, we've got a few few goodies. Um, so we're going to start off with celebrity through the keyhole because that's how we've got our fix of it. Isn't we've it? had our fix. Yeah, Instagram's been a real kind of uh, crowd pleaser for this. You know, we've we've seen so inside so many people's homes. We've, I think what's interesting about Instagram, you see the celebrities being real in their own home, and that you see no no holds barred. There's literally there laid bare. I think the one that strikes me the most is Victoria Beckham, and she is there in her cot swore the bone. Being real, can we just oh, yeah. being real? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay, it might be a bit posed, yeah. but her legs look insane. She's got these hot pants. She's sitting at the breakfast bar in her. Cotswolds of bow, stones throw from farmhouse, and oh, she just I know looks... that's the most we've ever seen, isn't it? Yeah, of her kitchen, yeah. And actually, it's interesting because um, David, her husband Beckham, obviously, has been posing in his hot tub in the garden. We've seen we've had a double whammy, we've seen we had David's post and, and Victoria's post, and we've had the kids posting. I know. So, you know, on a Friday night, they've got their cocktail in the, in the jacuzzi, and they're just living their best lockdown life. So, I'm a bit jealous of those guys, actually. I am, and I'm thrilled that I've had a closer look at her kitchen. Yeah, it's, it's great, great though, isn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. cool. I love it's it. It's very shallow cheek. Yeah, a bit of exposed brick. Yeah. Wasn't expecting the blue. Um, no. Yeah. Anyway, Quite loving like that. Her. Okay, so we've seen her. Who else have we um, seen? Holly Willoughby. Obviously, she's... Uh, I'd missed this until I heard this was on the show. Have you? She's, she's just... She's given us glimpses. So on Mother's Day, she's there in her, you know, flip-flops on Mother's Day, you know, showing off her spoiling garden. And... She's just been planting fruit and veg. It's all very twee, you know, it's in barns. She's just got, sounds like she's just got the lovely home. And then she's been... Not a stereotype <laughs> at all. <laughs> Not at all. But she's been, you know, doing some baking with her daughter, lots of crafts, and her kitchen's very metered tones, but in a really, you know, pleasant way. Chester, her son, has got a really, like, sort of quite edgy nursery. Um, she's got a beautiful staircase going up. It's yes, the of, runner. There was great excitement, so I was told, nice. over the runner. Yeah, lovely. And I think she's just, she's been doing a few selfies about her outfits, you know, obviously on her Zoom chats before the show. And I think she's just nailed it, actually. It's been a nice little glimpse. I just need that home her. there now. I yeah. love her. I just want to have a cup of tea with her. Mm. She just looks... She's one of those girls that can have a cup of tea with and set the world to rights with, but also go out of cocktails with and have such fun. She'd like, be a laugh, wouldn't she? Yeah, she would. She'd be great. Yeah. If you fancy it, Holly, let me know. Um, <laughs> Amanda Holden. Amanda Holden. I mean, I just that there's one image that sort of tracks my mind literally during lockdown, and that was her putting the bins out in, you know, full ball gown, just looking insane. I mean, she loves dressing up. Britain's Got Talent, obviously. She pulled it out of the bag week by week, didn't she? I have this weird... Lee's sitting over there, she's going to be thinking, what? I have this weird, like, fascination with Amanda Holden. Yeah. I just... She's just slightly fascinates me. Mm. I don't know why, but well, she does. And she seems to look quite cool, Britain's Got Talent. I mean... Yeah. yeah, she does. I think she's got, you know, she, she looks insane. I mean, she's been around for a... You know. Yeah, she's ageing well. I did her wedding at Babington House years did ago. You? And she looks no different. I mean, she looks better now than she did yeah. then. Oh, I she mean, does. Yeah, definitely. She's just I think she's got a new stylist. I think she has, yeah. Yes. But she's just... I love her ball gown chic and she just nails it every did time. Did she put the bins out in her wedding dress or something? Not she like did, that. yeah. It was mm. one of those Instagram fads, you know, let's put the bins out. I don't know that it caught on. I'm not sure it did, actually. I saw actually. one person I knew do it and I thought, oh, that I'm not was sure. Already, I think you're on your own. That wasn't the weekend blinding light sort of dance. It was. It didn't kick off like that, did yeah. it? It was no, just a little bit. No, different. it didn't. But hey, um, she looked good. And finally, Robbie and Ada. Yes. Well, they've been. Ada's been doing quite a lot of fitness um, videos in her front room, and it's just very decadent. Actually, her Malibu mansion was uh, previously owned by Janet Jackson, so it's quite oh, an really? insight into how she, you know, how big chandeliers, huge big ceilings, you know, decadent hallways, palm trees, you know, a typical LA. So is that where Mention. they've been in lockdown? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So they've got, with their three children, them. just just oh, having their best life. And there's a lovely image, actually, that Ida um, posted of Robbie, just, you know, with his daughter in the garden. It just looks very, just idyllic, really. Do you think he's really happy? I hope he's really happy. I think he is, you know. Aww. I want him to be. Maybe I do I'm just too. Made up. <laughs> I still have such a soft spot for Robbie. Um, but I think we were agreeing that celebs have come across pretty well in lockdown yeah, haven't they? Yeah I think we've seen a real side to them if mm. anything a bit of a more of a relatable side to them perhaps mm. than the red carpet. But they've done some good you know there have been amazing things like I mean we talked about it on the show in the last show but Chris Martin doing his kind of live concert from home mm. and 
um, John Legend and, you know, there have been some really cool things that have happened. Um, I know that you noted Marvin and Rochelle's Friday night DJ set. That That's is the epitome mad, of lockdown for me. Right, Friday night, when you've succeeded a week of homeschooling, three kids, just trying to like, just, just, it's a picante, it's, it's everything about Friday nights to me, everything. It's you, know, you just need cocktails and them, and they've got these tunes, and they're like this double act together, they're brilliant. I just think also, they Also, can it. we talk about the fact that she's pregnant? Oh when, she, when it was revealed that she was pregnant, I was like, you've been doing all that sober. <laughs> God, can you imagine? I know. I know. Good, they're still talking. They're still talking and working that's together. That's so sweet. To they me, are that's admirable. I know. Mean, yeah. I know. They're amazing. Um, another one I have to say is Joe Wicks, though. Can we yeah. just talk about him? Because at the start of lockdown, we were literally going into the fear of the unknown of, of timetables, school, you know, homeschooling. He was my structure to the day. Nine o'clock every day, I put my kids in front of that, and it was guilt free for half an hour. Mm. And I just think that was so, so key in our days of structure. Mm. Mm. You know, I think he's been in, he's, uh, he's earned so, I mean, he's raised so much money for charity and... Hasn't he given all the profits, though, to he, NHS? NHS, yeah. 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 And then even when he had an injury, he got his wife on there, you know. I think it's just a great... He's raised half a million. Yeah. yeah amazing. Um, another one who's raised huge amounts of money is Elton. Elton John did um, a benefit concert online um, with some of his uh, great friends, Sam Smith, you know, just, just a mate, Demi Lovato. There's some of his great, you know, p people he admires uh, in the industry, and they, they raised $8 million for that. Did so they really? Incredible. $8 so, million? Dollars. Yeah. So, I mean, they've just incredible. been, people have been pulling it out of the bag and just thinking of new ways to do yeah, things, you know? it's amazing, using their, using their force for the greater good. Um, we're going to finish off by talking about Catherine the Great, not another woman in history, Kate Middleton. <laughs> We're trying to work out who Catherine the Great was. Anyway, Duchess someone will let us know. The Duchess of Cambridge. Sorry, she's always going to be Kate Middleton to me. I can't get past it. Uh, there was a quite a uh, punchy article in Tatler. Yeah, which is actually sort of quite a royal coffee table read. So yes. it was an interesting article, wasn't it? I mean, uh, what I think it, it may be sidelined slightly was the fact that Kate has done so much good you know since she got engaged in 2010 married in 2011 she has you know she's been uh by the side of Prince William just nailing it really she's got it she's not ever put a foot wrong she's, she hasn't um, has she? I think what we it's interesting we've seen a real side to her during lockdown actually yes, during this pandemic. I mean talking about them doing things for good I mean they've been amazing well, she's they? a great example you know she has been on zoom pretty much every day mm. alongside mm. William sometimes sometimes on her own she's been talking to primary school children she's been she did a lovely uh, podcast actually just before lockdown with uh, Giovanna Fletcher yeah. talking about mum guilt yeah and then she went on and spoke to Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield about the challenges of homeschooling you know she's just kind of got this I think very relatable appeal now that she perhaps didn't have before she yeah. was a little bit untouchable in the yeah. way that she was the royal you know you saw her on royal tours but ne not necessarily being you know having the same guilt as we have and yeah. uh, the same challenges so well you're going to be very diplomatic but I thought it was a it was a bit of a snidey article in a couple of places I'm with you though I think she's great and we're huge fans of hers and she just behaves impeccably and She's so composed and dignified, and she always seems so well prepared for everything, doesn't she? Yeah, and she does. She does. Great. I think we gave her a bit of a hard time. I think she's awesome. Yeah. Usually at this time of year, we'd be seeing her at Ascot, for example, this week. We'd be seeing her at all these events and premieres, yeah. and, and actually, we've been starved of the red carpet looks, the Jenny we Packhams, have. and the, you know. <laughs> I know. We need to get, they all need to just get on the red carpet. Yeah. They just need to put on an event. Yes. For us. For us. <laughs> to see. We, we are owed it. Mm, um, definitely. Chrissy, thank you thank so you. much. What fun. Please come back. We need to do that again. Uh, that's brightened up my day. You thank and you. Ruby, perfect, <laughs> perfect duo. Next up, Lou Huff is going to be here with Style Watch and this week's hottest outfits. And Ruby's joining in, so don't go away. Hi, everyone. I'm Anna Bromelow, and today I'm going to give you a very sneaky peek into my wardrobe. The last thing I bought, I'm going to show you one high end and one high street. This high street find, you'd think at first glance, it was Love Shack, but actually it's ASOS. Um, I think as an antidote to all the leisure wear I've been donning of late while I've been doing the homeschooling, I am Googling and searching for really pretty escapist dresses and this is just divine. It's heavyweight and fabric, so even though it's high street, it feels 
a bit more substantial. Look at these glorious puff sleeves. The print is just absolute. From sparkly mini dresses to Bermuda shorts, rainbow shoes to hot pink outerwear, Lou has scoured the gram and come up with her favourite outfits. But first, um, well, welcome back. Ruby, you're joining us for Star Watch. Sorry? I said you're joining us for Star Wars. Oh, I She's am. Like, right, I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> and looking the part. Um, so, Lou, yeah. what have you got? So first up, we have got um, Amy from Lefebvre. I'm, I'm going to get in trouble for saying it wrong. Um, Don't ask me. Yeah. I'm terrible with pronunciation. So she is Very actually lovely. wearing a... Um, duo a denim duo from frame she's got a shirt and trousers but it's kind of giving that boiler suit vibe which is very much on trend right now um and the thing i love about this is obviously it's quite an androgynous look mm. but i think all of that layered gold jewelry just really adds that feminine touch i think it looks such a cool look uh, I, I love this this is not a boiler suit it's two separate it's pieces. two separates yeah Really cool. What do you think, Ruby? I, th I thought it was a boiler suit, but yeah. now that it is two pieces, I'm yeah. even more sold. And you're absolutely right. The, the loveliest thing about it is is that the fact that it's dressed up yeah. with the jewellery and it's not feminine, isn't and it? And yes, not gone down. Nothing wrong with trainers or all of that. But that's the normal route, and I think she's just taken it into a different yeah. level, which is she's lovely. got really cool style. Amazing she hasn't style. been on my radar that long, but I have to say, she just gets it right every yeah. time. I have to. I love to get on there really, really on that cool. radar and yeah. watch. Yeah. Okay. More. Number two, I mean, she's one of my favourite influencers, Nina. Nina Sandbeck. Yeah, she looks like my sister-in-law and <laughs> she's just, oh, her style's amazing. Yeah, she is a real lesson as well in how to wear colour. She's not afraid of it. If you go on her, her feed, it's just kind of purples and pinks and greens. And totally. for someone who has a very monochrome palette, um, I love watching how she dresses things up. Um, and here she's got these green turquoise Bermuda shorts, again, which are a huge trend right now. Um, but I think she totally nails it off. She's paired it with a turquoise top. I think this is one from H&M. And then rainbow metallic Steen Goya heels, which Amazing. just finish it off perfectly. Didn't know Steen Goya did shoes. Um, can I just say, I love purple and pink or turquoise and green yeah. or like taking two, two really bright sort of em, not emerald colours, but do you know Jewel what I mean? Tones, Jewel yeah. tones, thank you, and putting them together. It just looks, especially with tan skin. Yeah. She's quite tan, that looks I'm going to try this on holiday. You know, like, you I, take, you, I yeah. probably wouldn't be able to do it in town, but I love the way that that comes across. And yeah. then, you know, you could, and even, you know, she's put something that's even lime green. So it's, again, it's like almost a neon opposed to those yeah. dual so colours. Cool. But it's just having the confidence and she's actually picked the colour so they're they're not mitchy matchy but they're not clashy clashy either yeah. they're, they're she's really pulled it off so well. good. Yeah. i will so definitely good. attempt this but when i'm away well send us the picture please yes. <laughs> and, and so the top is h and yeah nice shorts we no, don't know no, no, not short shorts yeah steen goya shoes and i think she's got a bottega clutch there and really Lovely. cool really cool shades which yeah. i can't pull off but they look awesome on her um okay next we have got thora Yep, Thora Valdemir, who's um, co-founder of Rotate, wearing this amazing sparkly sequin dress from Rotate, which is actually now on sale on net forte so get it while it's hot. Um, and I think the thing about this is the talking point is the boots. Do you remember when Victoria Beckham wore those army boots <laughs> to um, Brooklyn's 18th, 21st? 21st, I think. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure about this. For me, I would prefer this with a heel, but I think yeah. what she's done... She's toughening it up, isn't it? She's adding a bit of an edge to it. Mm, yeah, I'm it's, not a fan it's, of it. It's definitely a look. And now the thing is, I I love the the dress, but again, I think I'd be mutton dressed as lamb and being Asian like that. I'd look like a right chutney Mary. I'd be happy <laughs> <laughs> doing this, so I can't. Hot. I love it's the important. boots, but again, I always have such skinny ankles and things that if they you see how they fit her, they yeah. fit really well, and then they've they've got that sort of you androgynous, like you know. Ankles. She pulls it off well, but I don't think I could carry it off, so I'm going to have to... I love okay. it, but not for me. Mm, not for and me. I love rotating. In fact, shout out for the net sale, which is... Phenomenal. Amazing. Um, 
I don't think this dress, I like a sequin in summer. This dress to me doesn't belong in the summer and I don't think it belongs to those boots for one second. Oh, I don't know. I think it's always good to have a sequin dress in your wardrobe to pull out whatever the occasion, I think. I agree. Rest. To me, I, that's I'd not... wear that more like a jacket, you know, because look, it looks like a wrap. Yeah. So yeah. I think there's a way of where you could put something else underneath it, maybe have trousers or a short skirt or something else that then, then you throw that over. Yeah. yeah. But the way she has, she's very brave. I don't think I'm yeah. quite that brave. Yeah. No, I'm with you, I'm with you. Um, okay, number four, we've got... This is Ven's... Ven's wife, Sile. Yes, who's not called Ven. No, she's called Ram, Ramya? Renya? Renya. Renya, here we go. Wearing um, Jacquemus. Yes, wearing this amazing bright pink Jacquemus blazer, oversized shape. Um, I love it. She's teamed... I'm not sure if it's a body, um, but she's love got that asymmetric underneath. top mm. underneath. Really wide leg trousers. I just love the contrasting shapes. It's really oversized, but she pulls it off. For me, it's a bit too oversized and oversized. Okay. I, would, I would pick one or the other. Okay. And you're nice and tall, Georgie. So for me, it just reminds me of my youth. You know, it, looks, it reminds me of the 80s. I love the cutout top and yeah, I, I love the too. colour of the jacket. Yeah. But that, because I'm so slight, it, 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 it just, for me, I would never feel confident and poor you know like yeah. I, I think you need to be really tall you need to have kind of broad shoulders to begin with and, and short hair like that I can't that pull it off but I love the way that is you know it's too big, big here and the then shoulders. it's big here yeah. you know again oh, so I think it looks cool I think she's you're right it is a confidence thing isn't it and it's I think a confidence she thing she also is incredibly experimental with her style um and have really has fun with it and I love that she's I think she's rocking it, rocking Just that look runway at, look. Um, yeah, I think we've got a top, no, an ASOS version coming up as well, um, a dupe for the jacket, because um, jacket moves a bit expensive. I'm sure that jacket will go on sale at some point, won't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, number five, we've got Thora, um, who also looks like Polly Sayer, our fashion assistant. Vicky, not Thora, <laughs> we've, had, we've had Thora. Oh, we've had Thora, sorry, Vicky. Uh, so it is Vicky. Anyway, also, I mean, to say that looks like Polly is just like uncanny. <laughs> I can see, see Polly nailing that look yeah, as well. Gorgeous. It's awesome, isn't it? So, yeah, she's got a wrap dress from Ganny, which is actually on sale now. It's sort of in that gorgeous mint tone, a slight floral detail on it with a creams tuxedo blazer. That, for me, is like the epitome of summer occasion wear dressing. I know. She, I mean, it's a shame there aren't any weddings happening at the moment. No. She needs to be going to a wedding, doesn't she? <laughs> so cool. And I think she's just added that little bit of edge, I think, with those ankle chain details. I mm. think they're, I'm not sure if they're part of the shoe or they're just anklets, but I think that just adds a little bit more interest mm, cool. than an edge to like a really pretty look. Yes, I think a sort of something funky happening with the shoes yeah. adds to that. Are you a fan of a white top? I am, blazer? I am, I like it, I like it, yeah. I like it. You see that, it's a little bit more slimmer in shape, yeah. so yeah. I would, and then, you know, when you get, if, you, if it's a long day and the sun goes down and you're yeah. feeling a bit nippy, mm. it's great to be smart as you walk in and then you can keep yeah. that warm and it, it's lovely and it pulls together. And also together. she's got it on her shoulders. I exactly. feel like if Ben's wife had had that blazer on her shoulders, okay. maybe she could have got away with it. Sticking halfway off, but anyway. Right. Um, pretty look. So pretty. And I think there's a stories version of that dress yep. as well, yep. isn't there? Yep. I mean, Ganny's such, so good the, for such The only downside like is that everyone's going to go and buy that dress and then mm. you go to a wedding and about three people will have that on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, if, it, if it's that good, then I think just no, start it's it very out. nice. Very nice um, dress. Final look. Melissa um, from Melissa's Wardrobe. I mean, this is nailing high, low. This is like lockdown dressing with a bit of glamour, isn't it? So she's got a Zara home um, track pant on. Obviously, any sort of twin set track pants now have sold out. So we've got, I think, a uh, Topshop dupe coming up on the screen now. And then she styled it with Bottega bag, Bottega heels, and looks so amazing. Ruby, what so do you think? jealous. No, I love that. I love that. Yeah. And I know that I love the fact that she's kicked it up high, yeah. but you can also just put your trainers on or something in that and carry it off. But the fact that she's done it like that, it looks really yeah. cool. And I'd, I'd love to carry back. it off. <laughs> no, I know. I mean, it would look cool with Vanessa Yoga trainers it looks as well. Amazing. It? Yeah. It looks amazing. Um, I have to say, when, the, when I first saw this kind of look, not on her, I was like, that's ridiculous. And Charlotte Instagrammed during lockdown, a picture of her in some Bottega jeeps with a pair of tracky bumps, and I thought it looked really cool. <laughs> I think she looks amazing. Yeah, insane. Amazing. I would never walk out of the house in a tracksuit with a pair of heels, but I think she looks amazing. It, it I, looks I fab. It, I think it's fab. Well, now's your time to try it. I feel like everyone could be way more experimental these days. With I, don't think, I don't think where I live in London is ready <laughs> for that look. Um, anyway, thank you.
thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. As usual, all the products mentioned in today's show will be linked in the show notes below. Charlotte will be back on Thursday with Jessica Aurora and five of her favourite outfits, from date night to a family barbecue, plus celebrity eyebrow stylist Cheryl Riley is going to be talking us through the common mistakes to avoid and tips on getting your eyebrows looking on point. Plus, Nikki, the conscientious cook, is back with her infamous recipe for banana ice pops. Until then, uh, do you please comment on anything else you'd like to see on the show below. We are listening to your ideas, so keep them coming. And please don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and tell your friends. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.